tillage is bad for the soil. Some people may be aware of with, um, if you till too much, you can release a lot of carbon into the atmosphere, lose your organic matter in your soil. With regular no-till, generally people grow cover crops, or don't even grow cover crops, but just um, use an herbicide to kill what's ever on the soil, whether it's a cover crop or weeds. Organic no-till is different. It has three basic steps. We start by growing a winter annual cover crop. In this case, generally here we use rye and hairy vetch. And then we let the cover crop grow until spring. Once it reaches at least 50% flowering or more, then we roll it with the no-till roller. The roller is mounted on the front of the tractor. The no-till organic has a lot of benefits. It reduces the number of tractor passes over the field. It keeps the soil covered almost constantly, which is so important. It eliminates herbicide use to do it organically and use the roller as opposed to using a spray down herbicide. Um, the challenges are some of the same things as the benefits. Um, one of the challenges that some people have found is that the mat can sometimes keep the soil too cool in the spring. If the cover crops don't grow well, if you have bad growth over the winter, um, that can be a problem because if you don't have enough cover crop biomass in place when you roll, your mat is going to have gaps and that's going to have a lot of weeds to come through. And we have had some problems, like I said, or say up here with um, plant damaging pests. Sometimes that mat provides a great habitat for pests. Now, just to go over the different results that we've had. Um, in 2008, we learned a lesson that we pretty much already knew. <laughs> um, spring wheat doesn't do well here for us, at, at, the, at least not at the Institute. That year, we also did full soil sampling. We did a baseline soil sampling before we planted the spring wheat, and then the end of the season soil sampling. And there were no differences in any of the plots that year. Here at the Institute, we tend to look at organic no-till as more of a rotational thing. There are going to be some plots, there are some crops that you are going to need to till before in your rotation, and then there's corn and soybeans where you won't need to till. 